Shalom everyone, Joshua here, and welcome to another quick Torah study. Question, were Adam and Eve and all the animals of creation in the beginning actually vegetarians? Well, tag along with me and let's find out. So I'm here on the Orthodox Jewish Bible app in Genesis chapter 1 or Bereshish chapter 1, starting at verse 27. So Hashem created humankind in his own Zalem. In the Zalem, Elohim created he him. Zachar and Nekava created he them. And Hashem blessed them. And Hashem said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the Eretz, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the Eretz. And Hashem said, He nay. I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of Kolhadetz and every etz in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for food. And to every beast of the etz and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the etz, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. And Hashem saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was Tov Miod, and the Erev and the Boko were Yom Shishi. Did y'all catch that? It is so incredible that in the beginning of creation, Adam and Eve and all the beasts of the earth and fowl of the air, that the green herb was for food. So if we scroll back here to verse 28, it says, And Hashem blessed them, and Hashem said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the Eretz, Eretz and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the Eretz. Do you see that? They have dominion. But then we get into verse 29. And it says, And Hashem said, He nay, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of Kolha Aretz, and every Etz, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for food. And in verse 30, And to every beast of the Eretz, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the Eretz, Edet, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. Now that is pretty neato. I think at least that, you know, everything lived in peace, and it was actually the plants of the earth that everything was sustained by. That is, that is just fascinating to me. Fascinating. I can't even comprehend how all the creatures of existence lived in harmony wow but huh, there's one even better did you know that once Yehoshua returns to claim those who have turned in faith and repentance to his finished work at the cross and resurrection from the grave and seek and desire to walk in his righteousness and his righteous ways and to turn from their iniquities and sins that when he comes back and ushers in the new jerusalem there's coming a time where we're all well at least all of us who believe and follow his ways are going to live in that harmony again with the creatures and that we will all be vegetarians again and for that study you'll have to stay tuned That'll be part two. So I do appreciate y'all for tagging along with me on this little study. And I hope and pray that it enlightens some eyes and ears of spirits. And uh, hope, hopefully uh, it'll encourage y'all to keep digging into the scriptures for the truth. Because there are just so many fascinating little tidbits like this throughout all the word of Elohim. So again, I implore y'all, repent and believe. And turn your hearts, minds, and souls to Yehoshua and seek the truth whilst it still may be found. Shalom.